Hey everybody, welcome to Barbecue by Biggs. I'm Aaron, and today we're gonna look at the new grinder we just got in the mail from Cabela's. We've been looking for a new grinder since our other one went kaput, and we were trying to decide, you know, do we need a half horsepower? Do we need the big one and a half horsepower? But Cabela's offered the, offers these commercial grade carnivores, and you can get it in a three quarter or one horse size, which is kind of in the middle. So we opted for the three quarter inch size, which has the number 12 throat. So we're gonna get this thing open, kind of show you what it comes with, and then we're gonna do our first grind. We're gonna take a brisket, we're gonna grind that brisket up to ground beef. If you've never ground up ground brisket, you guys need to give that a shot. Ground brisket is so delicious, and it, man, once you go that way, you'll never buy ground meat again. Ground brisket is great in just about anything. You can also take a roast or whatever else you want and grind it, and fresh ground meat is a lot better than what you get at the grocery store doesn't have all the fillers, doesn't have the exaggerated shelf life or the nitrogen in there to keep it red. Guys, this is the best way to have fresh meat and save a ton of money. This brisket that we bought, I know that, that meat prices have gone up here recently, but this brisket that we bought was on sale for $1.97 a pound. So with a little bit of trimming, we're gonna be at about $2 a pound for some awesome brown beef. So we'll get this opened up and see what it comes with. Kind of, kind of give you our opinion on, on what it feels like, so stay tuned. Man, you talk about heavy duty. That thing is heavy for sure. So if you look, this thing is probably a good 18 inches long. And I'd say weighs probably, I'd say weighs probably about 40 pounds or so. It's heavy duty for sure. Just to give you an idea, that's my hand. It's huge. Also comes with a little drawer on the side to keep your accessories in. Pretty nice piece of equipment. All right, then we have the throat. Just slide this in, done. Has a little thing on the side. We'll spin that in there. Lock it together, and of course, the top. Also comes with sausage stuffers. We won't be using those because we have a, a meet your maker sausage stuffer, but uh, it comes with a bag stuffer to stuff the, you know, the bags for, for meat. It comes with the, the small, medium, and the large, and plus the screw that goes, that pushes that sausage in there. Also comes with the handle to push it down. Done deal. Comes with two sets of blades. The blades and the dies. So you got a, a large, which is half inch, and then you got the, about eight inch. So I, I think they call them millimeters. I think they're in millimeters, but yes, you get the gist of it. So you got two different sizes to get it closer to you. Got the smaller one. Then you got the larger one. Also comes with a tool for the front. So if you have that stuck, you slide that over and you pull that out and push it back in. And what's easy is it's got this spinner on it. So you don't need any special tools to get that. Just pop it in, get it tight. So I can't believe the size of this thing. I can't wait to use it. We're gonna go in there, get these cleaned up and uh, get ready to grind that brisket. We're gonna make some ground beef out of brisket and man, I tell you, we do it all the time and it is delicious in anything. So we'll get this inside and uh, get you guys grinding. Be right back. All right, so we're gonna get this thing put together. I have the components in the freezer to get them extra cold. I have the collar in the freezer to get it cold too. We'll get this put together and then I'll show you how I'm gonna trim this brisket out to grind it up. So as you can tell, that's frosted over, ice cold. You want it to be as cold as possible when you're, when you're grinding meat. So we'll just put that on. Tighten it up here on the side. And of course, the cold collar, basically like a ice pack that goes on. Just put this on and cinch it tight, just like that. It's gonna keep this bottom part really cold. As you know, when fat gets warm, it starts to get really, really sticky. We wanna keep that from happening. So take that, we'll take the screw, put that in next. 
So we have the cutter. The cutter is going to go flat side towards the die. So we'll put the, the knife on next. And then the die. Put that in there. And then, of course, got this handy dandy tool is tool is cover plate here. Tighten that up. Get the top on so this is ready to go. So we're going to go down here to the brisket and I'll show you guys what we're going to do with it. So we got this brisket here. We're just going to cut it out of the pack. Try not to get blood everywhere. There we go. So depending on the fat content, it's going to be probably around about a 70, 30 or so on the fat to meat ratio on a brisket here, especially this. This is just a, a standard old Packer choice brisket. What we're going to do is we're going to cut all this fat out of here because we really don't want that when we grind it. We want our meat to be about a 85, 15 or a 90, 10 or so. So we're going to take some of this fat out of here before we grind it. So. We'll just take a knife and we'll just cut this fat out of here. As you can see, deckle fat probably be good in sausage making when you want the higher fat content. But we're not making sausage today, we're making ground beef and, and I prefer a little less fatty ground beef. Get that cut out of here, bring you back. So on the back side of this one, got a pretty good chunk of fat here we're gonna take out. Try not to take any of that meat out. So we got a lot of the fat out, now we're just gonna chunk this thing up. We're gonna do it progressively so we can tell how, how well this thing handles this meat. So probably chunks about like this is what we're gonna do. And then we'll get a little bit bigger as we get towards the point. And then if it won't handle it, we'll come back and we'll strip it out. As you can see, this is a number 12, so that fits perfectly down in there. It's about that wide or so. We'll just make it a little bit chunks like that. So we'll get this chunked up and we'll bring you back for the grind. I do want to say that this is a little bit still frozen in the middle, just a tad bit. Took it out of, out of the freezer, let it thaw until it was a little bit hard. That way the whole meat stays real cold while we're doing that grind. All right, we got it cubed up. Let's take it over to the grinder and get it grinded out. So we have this grinder on a foot pedal. So all we're going to do is go down here and put it in the forward. And we have a foot pedal down here that we also bought from Cabela's. It costs like 40 bucks. We can turn it on. You can turn it off. So that, that's pretty handy, especially when you're doing this by yourself. So we got the meat here. We're just gonna put the meat in this bucket. Put the meat in this side of the bucket. Just take this underneath the edge and then we'll grind it out. This will take two grinds, so we'll grind it and then uh, chill it for a little bit and then run it through one more time. So we'll get that started. As you can tell, this thing is not very loud. That's on, off. So it's not very loud. So it's not one of those that whine and, and carry on. So we'll just load some meat down in here and get it going. Chewing it up. So it's eating it up as fast as we can feed it. Getting through here. Just a couple 
some minutes. We've got 13 pounds worth of ground beef. We're going to cool this down in the freezer for a few minutes, then we're going to regrind it. As you can tell, it's a pretty big size. So we'll run it through the grinder to get it more mixed up, and then it'll be ready to go in the bag. So we'll bring you back for that. go through and we're gonna grind it one more time and then we'll be done with this and we'll be ready to pack it up so as you can tell I mean it made short work of that brisket that brisket was about 13 pounds we'll probably cut about two pounds worth of fat out of it and now we're gonna have about 11 pounds of, of, of awesome ground beef all right get started here here we go get this through here Grinding it up real well. Probably got to do some fun with this, but yeah. All right, we'll get this second grind done and then we'll bring it back here in a minute. All right, that's all there is to it. We'll back away and clean it up. All right, so after the first grind, I tell you, that thing took every bit of meat that we could throw out of it. Now we did have some pieces that we had cut a little bit too large and they were getting stuck in the throat itself, but once it got down to the grinding head, it just went right through it. So no problems there. We could tell that, I mean, just about anything that we're gonna throw at this thing is gonna be able to handle it. It never bottomed out. I never had to use the reverse. It worked very, very well. This is just my first glance. So I'll have an in-depth review further on when I do have a little bit more time with it. So you guys stay tuned for, for sausage videos, for some boudin, and of course, we're gonna take this ground brisket and we're gonna make a meatloaf out of it. So we'll see you guys next time and thanks for stopping by. Y'all take care.